the match between Damon Jackson and uh, TJ Laramie is in the works for May 1st, so I think it comes to fruition. Damon Jackson, the reach 5'11", 73 inches is uh, his reach, uh, fighting out of 47 May purple belt in BGG, riding a score of 18 for one, one no contest, and he, he had two UFC runs, Damon, uh, Damon Jackson. He also fought at LFA, holds notable victories over Eliazar Rodriguez, Luis Luna, Chris Pesero, Jeremy Spoon, Nate Jennerman, this guy is a submission specialist. In his first UFC run, his victory over uh, over uh, Ronnie Jason was... Uh, the victory, I mean, the, uh, Ronnie Jason's victory was overturned because he was tested positive for banned diuretic. Then uh, Damon Jackson fought to a draw against Levan Makashvili. Also, in his second UFC run, he choked out Mirsad Bektik, then lost to Ilya Topuria via punch. On, uh, his uh, his height is uh, five foot eleven. His reach is seventy three inches. Now he's gonna meet TJ the Truth Laramie. Twelve four is his score. Five foot six, sixty six inches is his reach. Fighting out of Windsor, Ontario, maximum training uh, maximum training center fighter. And uh, TJ Laramie TJ Laramie is uh, riding on uh, how to say. He had ups and downs, you know. He defeated Koshio Bata, Luke Noel. I won again over the Damian Peltier, Maxim Dubois. He holds notable wins over many, many good fighters. He secured his UFC contract at Dana White Contender Series 2020, where he where he defeated Daniel Swine. Daniel Swine uh, surrendered at the end of round one due to a rib injury. TJ Laramie is a cardio machine. I mean, every single time he was losing, he either lost via choke either lost via stoppage his he was having hard time with alex morgan on uh, two occasions he also lost to vince murdoch but he was losing to very very powerful guys you know but i believe that uh, damon jackson he has way better jiu-jitsu than tj laramie so if the fight is direct to the ground gonna be a big problem for laramie plus uh, laramie is facing seven inch reach disadvantage so this is going to be a very very hard night for tj laramie Considering the fact that TJ Laramie defeated uh, Charles Jordan via anonymous decision, who now competes at the UFC, it is uh, it is seen that uh, TJ Laramie is an outstanding fighter. I mean, he really is an outstanding fighter, and I predict very very tough fight, very tough uh, war. But uh, Damon Jackson he has knockout power, despite the majority of his fights were ended via submission. I kind of believe this fight won't go to judges' scorecards or decision. Kind of have that odd, good old uh, familiar feeling. If TJ Laramie wins, it has to be via decision, but I think somebody is going to knock somebody out here, or somebody is going to choke somebody out here. My favorite for this fight is Damon Jackson. I mean, let's see, but I'm picking Damon Jackson.